Hey everyone, welcome back to more Rogue Legacy 2 speedruns. So, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, so I was just looking at my uh, channels to see who followed me, because I would like to thank them. Kirby, thank you very much for following me, and someone followed twice, which tells me that something weird's going on there. Nonetheless, nonetheless, we move forward. Yeah. <sighs> If they're getting, that might be that they're auto banned, which would mean they're a bot, which, unfortunate, sometimes bots follow you. Yeah, well, bots are bots, just don't let it affect you. And that's why people don't usually look at followers, they look at viewers and stuff like that. Well, then again, viewers have the same, a similar issue. I look at how many people are talking to me in chat. <clears throat> hmm. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so... Yeah, followers has the issue that you can get bots. Very easy to make a bot to follow you. Viewers has the problem that also bots. That one, you just need other devices, or I guess there's probably a mechanized way to do it. But, like, so both of those have issues. And then, the thing is, with chat, it's very, like, to make a chat that's believable is a lot harder. So that's why I just kind of use my chat. Cartographer, to even look at much else. Like, I looked at the others, technically, but... So I know I have laser beam, and I know I have war drums. Which, war drums is going to be great with um, the lilies. So, let's see. If I assume lilies are taken, I have 45 resolve to spend without penalty. We're going to be finding relics because we have a cartographer to go hunt them down. Alright. Up, down. Alright, so they're all in that corner. So let's just start heading to that corner. So it's... Up, down, right. Oh, I can see it now. Cool. Don't want that. Yeah, that glitch is valuable, but a glitch. Alright. So let's see. From here, up, right, up to um, just get that teleport ready. Ooh. No heirlooms yet. But that's okay. We're going back through. We can grab that chest along the way. And... Actually, I think that chest is actually a waste of my time right now. Alright. Ooh. Oh. That's an otherwise dead end. I did not realize that. Well, down and to the right. And I know everything's over, like, way off to the right, so... Not really much point going any direction but right right now. By the way, I did not look at the map while I was in this thinking study. That will punish me, I'm certain. Alright. So we go here, we go all the way right. We'll head down to find Lamech. And then we'll head up to find the other two. Mostly because this is an easy route to find. Alright, there we are. The max teleport is now available. Um, so there's that path to the right if I want the exit, but I want to get this first. Hey, how's it going, Labodroid? I'm doing well. I just realized, because the book is immediately to my right, I can, um... Just teleport there, basically. I don't need to go enter the book's room. Alright. But yeah, first life, cartographer plus war drums. So this should be a good run, assuming nothing awful happens. down, but that's okay. We'll just kill a mech and then teleport out. Alright. We have two chests by a mech, plus we have access to Axis Mundi not far away. Ooh. Yeah, I think 
optimal route is literally to not open any chests and just keep moving forward. I'm not sure I should go optimal route. Maybe I'll try it. You know what? I have cartographer. Let's try um, optimal route, which is basically... Well, basically, the idea of optimal route is this is my first and last life. Um, if I die, bad things start happening. But if I don't die, you know, I have the war drums. I have all my special abilities. I know exactly how every map looks. So I can actually have a really good map. Really, I should have been using um, the shield a lot more. Just doing that to get this damage boost. Yep. Should be using my shield to get a lot more damage boosts. Oh well. Do it. Yeah. Oh well. There we go. Whew. With that, this is opened. And I am just going to let this play. We need to teleport here anyways to get the closest I can to the exit. Still worth, in my opinion. Alright. I'm picking up this chest, but not the other one. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to go fast. And, um, by fast, I mean, like, skip all unnecessities. Ooh, how's it going, Cracket Style? Oof. We got a cartographer for our first life, so this is a run that's in the possibility of world record, so I am gonna try to push for that real quick. Yeah, especially, yeah, I'm going to have to get a bit lucky with map generation, and if I could find, like, a damage output relic other than war drums, that would be appreciated. The fact that it would tie with war drums is great, but, you know, gotta actually do that. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. I'd say thank you, but I have a feeling that that's another bot. Hmm. Unfortunate. Sometimes that happens. I need to... I feel like if the bots are just subscribing to me... Like, it's possible that that's a person. I do appreciate it, but then I'm like... Who thinks to put that many L's or letter 1's at the end of their name? Like... I don't know. That just seems weird. Uh, so, yeah. Looks like those guys are getting my followers, and I'm not really interested in that. Oh, well. Yep. I don't think... Yeah, you can't... There is a website that I can go to to... Um, hence why I did not hesitate to ban them. <laughs> well, even banning them, I think they still are listed in your followers. So I have to... There's a website I could go to. I can't remember its name. I'll, Devin Nash has videos where he talks about the website. So I know that I could just go to a Devin Nash video to get the name of the website. But there's a website you could go to that will help you actually remove bots from your followers list. Alright. Alright, nah. Not as much gold as I've been hoping for. Oh well. Blobfish are much more threatening. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a threatening blobfish. And that did like 90 damage with a hit. Yeah. Blobfish are very threatening in this patch, in case people are wondering. We're playing the beta patch, and 
my god. That was painful. That's half my health. Whew. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that guy followed you last week. Um. Decided to buy my first PS4 game. Alright. Just a sec. I need to focus, as I said. I don't think I know how to check. Okay, wait for the projectiles. Because, yeah, the addition of projectiles, really good way to make them threatening, but maybe a little too threatening, I almost feel like. Because here's the thing that really hurts. Those projectiles, after they get launched up, they become invisible, and they still have a hitbox even while invisible. And I think that second part is what makes them terrifying. So, if you don't see the blobfish properly, you could get moitered and not even real, and like literally say what hit me because it never showed up on screen for you to know that it was there. If the blobfish was in the rafters or something of that nature. I had a feel I wasn't getting away from that one. Alright. Cool. Oh, nah. Don't like these rooms. Whew. Thank you for coming down at the rate you did. That's what I was afraid of. Ugh. I need that projectile to dissipate so I could... Oh. Whew. Nearly sniped me from... Me jumping away from it. Alright. I'm going into these rooms because they could have apples, and I could use some health right now. And even if they don't have apples, they could also have heirlooms, and heirlooms are just as good for me. If not better because of the way they interact with the war drum. Alright. Yeah, the, the blobfish platforms, uh, or the projectiles, as far as I can tell, are not resident, meaning you cannot kick off them. Shield bash, whatever. Yeah, could you come back together? Thank you. I appreciate it. Ready again? Cool. Go. Unfortunate that, that that they split up as much as they did. This was an unfortunate boss fight, but it's almost over, so. There we go. For a second biome, yeah, it should totally be a tiny bit easier, but not too much easier. Yeah. Now, I do agree that the blobfish need to be stronger, and the projectile is a great way to do it. It was just... The projectile's turning invisible. The damage output of the blobfish. The combination of the two. It becomes a bit much. All right. But we have enough gold. Worst case scenario. Alright. And we now have a means of finding the next heirloom. Alright. Very far away, though. So, we... Alright. Bomb is completely useless, so we go right immediately. Two lilies right there. And Namaz there. Alright, cool. So we know all the lilies are pretty easy to access. And we have to go just basically straight right to find the heirloom. Alright. 
think we go down here, and that's it for going down. Yep. Whew. Just like, do I know my hitboxes? So I have buying Tales of Eris, the gift w um, was an insane timing. Fed by the game that is new- oh my gosh. I need to focus on my run real fast, but glad to hear you bought like a game that you're going to love and enjoy. Always good to hear. Tales of Arius. I have not heard of it. Oof. Anyways, we are going to find them all and then we're going to just go to the Stygian study because um, we have this, we have war drums, so leaving my um, lilies in my possession is actually a positive. I got climbed. Ah. One apple we found I had to heal with, so that was definitely a blob so far. I feel like if the blobfish orbs were resonant, that would help. Uh, maybe not enough. Maybe if there was just two resonant, one on the left, one on the right, instead of four, maybe that would make it easier to approach. But yeah. Just look too good even without a demo. Alright, well, hope you enjoy it, man. I need to grab this lily real fast. Alright. And then there's a lily to the left of Nama herself. So. We just go to the one in Nama. Which. Alright. Center up. Alright. Well, we took some damage. We'll take a trap of scissors because it increases our damage. After this, we w I'm going to go up to see if that's like a lily or another heirloom, because I will take another heirloom if offered. Catalyst. I don't even care that I can't get an effect, status effect on. That's going to increase my power immensely, and I'm okay having 190 health instead of 200. All right. Whew. So up, and then we pop over to the right to grab that, and then we pop up, we head left and down. All right. Ooh. It was here. Yep. Had a feeling I'd get hit. All right, it's on the side. Just barely enough health. Okay. I'm with those lilies, those. Yep. Yeah. I'm happy with my heirloom set. Alright. Vulnerable would count. Yes, it would. So, when I'm doing shield bashes, like, when I shield bash, I'm going to be dealing plus 40% damage on top of war drums, which is giving me a plus 32% damage output. Like, yeah, I'm nearly doubling my damage once I, when I hit vulnerable people, because... Ooh. 
Remember, I have a Trap of Scissors, which also increases the damage of crits, and Vulnerable makes everything crit. So yeah, a Vulnerable character is already dead. Darn it. Well, I took some damage, but I can heal up from these two meats. That's okay. Alright. Here. E oh, it's the same guy. It's the same. Okay, hosts. Okay, we are starting to have issues. We have a bot army coming at us. Well, I'll figure out what that website is, and I'll try to get all those hosts removed from my... Um, all the bots removed, so... But that will have to be another time. So, from here... Uh, should I just ban them? Banning them is not gonna help much. Um, you can, but they're not- they're bots. They're not gonna talk in chat. Like, I'm okay if they get banned. I don't- it's not going to help the issue. They're- the whole thing is that the bots are going to just basically stick in my- um, I'm just trying to remove them from the follows, and that's something I have to do myself, basically. I have to go to a special website that will give me access to banning them, and I'm gonna have to look that up. Oof. Oof. Anyways, I was planning to avoid this, but then I just realized I have all this extra damage. This is actually the time to be facing bosses like this. I just can't face them all because that reduces my damage by 16%. All for 10 health. I just need to wait for that to be finished. be as close to full health as I can when I do these. Um, so from Murmur, we then try to find the other two. We still have Book, but Book is directly to the right of Dash, so I didn't even have to go find it. Alright, so it's just directly up and left when I need to. And that will get me Enoch. Offer. Nope, thank you for the offer. Thank you. for this fight. Probably a good idea. I'd say as I use the spell. I'm gonna grab the book from here. Death Strike while they are vulnerable, that will be big damage. Yep, but Death Strikes are risky, which is why I wasn't doing it, basically. Yep. Especially Gone Heads, which could, which were very much capable of one-shotting me. I'm gonna grab the book, then I'm gonna kill Enoch, then I'm going to, if I have health, 
I will um, go for the tower. If I don't, I will go for Nama. But this is my last heal, so I have to make it count. Yeah, if I have health and I could get through the tower, like if I can beat um, Irad and then beat Nama, then I can leverage these, these lilies as damage for the entirety of this run, except for one boss. So even if that shot a projectile at me, the beam would destroy the projectile, so I was perfectly happy with that attack. Alright. Whew. There's Aesop's Tome. took damage. More than I wanted. Just say I took damage. Alright, almost recharged. Perfect. Awesome. dead. Oh my gosh. Whew. Needless danger. Needless danger on my part. this damage, I think I do face them off over, try to go through the tower where... Well, I get two shot in the tower anyways. Maybe I still go for the tower. Right now I'm just like thinking of... I mean, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking of do I face the tower or do I just take them off? Alright, I face them off. Or I just die. Alright, that kills my run. I think that kills the world record pace of the run, at the very least. Ugh. Yep. 
So at the very least, this isn't world record pace anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, happens. Happens. Just too busy trying to think of those considerations while I'm in a fight, you know? What is Obelisk? Um, gives my crits a chance to be super crits, and super crits deal a ton of damage. So... Yeah, so the problem is when you die at the end of a boss fight, you lose even more time because then you have to go through getting to yourself to that point in the boss fight in the first place. So that's why that killed the run. Because it's not just I lost a life, it's I lost the two minutes, two or three minutes I spent facing that boss. Don't see how that's much different than a trap of scissors. Nope. That's a good point. In fact, I'd say it's probably um well, I'd say because of it's, um, when you have a high dexterity, I think it will make a difference, because it, like, but yeah, as a speedrun, it's literally just a worse atrop of scissors. Let's do that, get myself some... Super crits. They worse the Tropo Scissors when it has no effect on your survivability is a good theme. Bad hits. Did I? I mistimed that block as well. Wow. Yeah, it depends on how much damage super crits do, and that is tied directly to your dexterity, and therefore your chance of crits. So, super crits. So, in other words, Obelisk is better if you have a higher dexterity. And a trap of scissors is better if you have a higher strength. And I mean, I guess it's the. I guess if you have focus and um, intelligence, it's the same sort of concept. All right. Oof. Literally forgot where I was and was using flawed. Oh my gosh. I thought his hitbox was already in there. I got punished.
Alright, we're going damage boost here to get some more damage. Hey Destiny Bound, how's it going? And hey Connor Conquers, how's it going? You too! Oh, Connor Con- You're Penthos Infinitum, you're the new- Okay, I got it. I was like, how did someone I never heard of before have a moderator tag? That's because you ch- I remember you saying you were changing your name. I just didn't know what- Connor Conquers, got it. Good name. Are you- So this is the second time I died to the second phase of Irad. That has an additional issue that- That means I lost all that time getting through that first phase of Irad. So yeah, big F. So in case you're wondering, when this thing started, it- When we were starting this off, this was looking like it could be, um, another- a new world record run. This had Cartographer on the first life, it had a War Drums that was scaling up well. Like, this had everything to say, hey, I could be a world record if you just don't mess it up. And then we die twice on the same boss. So big F. Doing alright, just about to start another Pantheon 5 in a Hollow Knight. Yep. Good luck on that, man. I know it took me quite a few tries on that. Alright. So Barbarians. I do not like for Irad himself, but I love for getting to um for getting to Irad and for beating Enoch. So. Oh, that was a fool. Or at least I used to. It seems like their damage output has really been nerfed. Like, I know it's been nerfed, but, like, the first nerf was necessary. And then it just feels like the damage output of Barbarians just kept getting nerfed. Okay, more bots. Yeah. So it looks like these bots are just like, Ah, you don't know how to re remove follows. Let's get them all filled up. Fortunately... I watched Devin Nash. He talked about a website that you can use to remove followers from bot armies. Ah. I'm like mashing the button and it's just like the timing's cut off. Yep. Bosses I find annoying in Persona 5 are Mammoth Obble Obbles. Alright. Alright, and here's why I like Barbarians here. I say as I take damage. Well, no more mistakes allowed. Because if I die here for a third time... Like, we switch over from world record to let's just keep it sub 50. Like, it's already... Like, as I said, we're already... World record's already dead and gone. It's just... I'd like to still get a good time.
Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, hero complex. A little annoying, a little annoying, to say the least. Okay. <sighs> Rip, thanks Kirby, thanks. Oof. Yeah, thank you very much Kraken. I don't, I seriously doubt that I mean, I recognize Twitch has some flaws in it, but I seriously doubt they're going to do something to me because I um, didn't ban bots that happened to show up in my stream while I was streaming. Like, I don't think, like, the banning is really the issue. In case anyone's wondering why Flame Barrier is considered the best spell for speedruns, that is why. Hey Joel, glad to have you here. We were looking- aw, oh, the explosion lasted a bit longer than I expected it to. Oh well. We have Hero Complex, we can take some damage. Uh, play it safe, and I do appreciate it. Alright. So yeah, we've been... This run could have been world record. And then... We made a lot of mistakes. So that was pretty sad. And then we're getting, like, bot rated, it seems like. Like, we just are getting a lot of people following that, by names alone, hell, are all bots. Also, the rate at which it's like, instead of giving me that want to become famous line, they're just mass following. I do know, so Kirby, something I should note is I know a way to um, get rid of my follows that are from bots, but it's usually based on like a time sequence theme, so it might end up getting rid of you, your follow as well. I do want to warn you about that, Kirby. So. Like, if you suddenly get unfollowed from me, it's not like, it's not Twitch messing up, it's me trying to get rid of the bots, and because you followed recently, it would trigger on you as well. You, it wouldn't recognize you as a bot, it would just get you removed from my followers list. Uh, yeah, and that spell is insane. Yeah, exactly. Alright, now the tower. Now we start the hard part of the run. <laughs> Which, can I just state, now we start the hard part of the run? How many deaths did we get to that boss? I think every death has been to Enoch. Oh my god. Thank you. The enemies are saying that that could be arranged. Probably just the same route. Yep. I need to avoid that, and then I need to go up there, and I just... I got over... I got choice overwhelm, I guess. Alright. 
dwarf very easy. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with my kicks, but dwarves are very good at like getting through. Uh, all right. Well, we keep moving. Gosh, having to do that with a dwarf suddenly makes me very worried about my decision here. Oh my god. Well, I did say that kicks would be my weakness. Just not used to the tiny kicks. Ooh. Oh, I don't. Hey, I ate my dash earlier. Ah, uh, I didn't reach that platform, and when I went to recover, yep. I did say this is the actual hardest part. All right, we're actually... Meta's... All right, so it's just a question of mage with hero complex. Yeah, hero complex I think will be significant enough. The ranger might actually be good just for climbing because of its talent, but like, th this to say, whenever you're in a situation where you're considering the ranger just for mobility and not for any combat ability, you know you're in trouble. That's the big problem. Didn't know Dwarf was that small. Yep. Um, dwarf is a penalty because it makes it so absolutely tiny. It's intentional and important. Keeps it to actually a penalty instead of just a flat buff. Cool. So yeah, if I miss a dash, I don't have a second dash, so... So they made um, Shockwave have more utility by just turning it into a worst wind wall, which is what I'm using it for. That's something that they're doing with um, at least the beta patch effect. Ooh. Oh no. Alright. Now we gotta go this way. Oh my. So, yep, that's the big problem with it. It's like you make a little mistake, and it doesn't just hurt, it punishes. It doesn't stop punishing. Huh. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Just keep it chill. Keep it moving. At this point, as I said, it's still sad, man. It's so sad. That's why you don't... That's why I like practicing these... Like, here's the theme. I don't reset, so I've technically had more practice with the Sun Tower than most. Then I would... If I kept resetting, I would not have as much practice with the Sun Tower as I have right now. Which just feels... So weird.
going in here for security. Actually, hold up. I'm pretty sure this connects. Pretty sure that's why I ran into previously. Yep. Save myself some. That was dissatisfactory. That by the timing of when I did it, with the object out off the screen. Got punished. We're not even at the top yet. Well, let's hope. There we are. There's the top. Minus 100. We died all those times. Three on e three horrible, needless deaths on Enoch, and the rest just climbing that forsaken tower. All right. Well, I have enough health to survive one hit. So that hopefully that's enough. At the very end, man. Deaths at the very end of the fight are the worst. Alright. So this seems like the best... So... This is the best a barbarian could possibly be for this fight. This is the best a barbarian could possibly be for this fight. I don't think barbarian is good for Irad because you're constantly jumping in the air and you spin to win, which doesn't work well, especially since it doesn't give you mana. But this is the best the Barbarian could possibly be for this fight. Maybe if the Flame Barrier was Wind Wall, because Barbarians can't use Flame Barrier too effectively because they run out of mana, but... I'm just wondering, why aren't more people streaming and making videos on this game? No idea, Kirby. No idea. This game seems great. Uh, maybe you... Maybe there's just less people than, you know, that are streaming it? No idea. Um, I guess because it's in early access, people want to wait for it to get fully released. But, like, there's so much already. All that stuff. Ah. Uh. Well, we got a bot raid again.
Yeah, a lot of people don't want to play an early access game. Yep, makes sense. I'm just doing that. I'm not dealing with this. I mean, I guess I am dealing with it just at another point in the room. Right? You know what? That's a good damage mage. That's a good damage mage. Ugh. I think I think I have to kill it with this one or the next one. We have the run remain sub one hour, which is devastating. That we I was sitting here like, oh my gosh, this run has everything I need to get world record, and now here we are. Yeah. This hotspot is attacking everywhere. Also, I'm pretty sure if you look at the number of lines, that they're each technically a different account, but... Yeah. At least they give us an easy identifier to which ones are the bots. I didn't know how we came out that one. Mages deal damage. Mages deal damage. <sighs> All right. Kept it 50 sub hour. My God, like that was that first life made me hopeful for world record, at least PB. And they got us not even a sub-50. Thank you for finishing that off, Lady Sarah. Thank you for that much, at least. But, uh, just having a rough day, I guess. All those bots attacking me from the sides? Don't realize the mental pressure of robots striking at the air, striking at you from above. Ugh. I'll have to take care of that bot issue in just a bit. But, like, that's just... Ugh. I don't understand why people dislike bots. It's like... I mean, I always understood that. I just didn't realize, like, that they could, like, just by following, they could clog up that much of your time. Uh. I saw all that chaos. I'm only halfway through Pantheon 5. Yep. Ugh. Alright. Pantheon 5 is super long, isn't it? I just remembered that. That Pantheon 5 took me, like, from start to finish on the successful attempt was like a solid hour or something like that. I forgot about that. Pantheon 5's a long one. Ugh. Well, let's try that again. Like 30 minutes? 40 minutes per attempt. Alright. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. But yeah. Yeah. The Hall Knight boss, boss rush is... A, it's really cool. Not every game can do that, so pretty awesome that I, I just what I love about Pantheon 5 is the bosses that appear just for it. I wish it's sad that some people will never see it unless they go 
all the way to Pantheon 5, you know? Close enough. There we go. We got my fastest times in the collector and gun defender. Nice. Oh, you're speed running it. So you're actually keeping track of your times. Nice. I did not realize that. All right. Stretch just over there. This is going to be a long room. Better make it count. I believe. As one should always believe. Alright. We got that. Whew. That's a pretty easy test, but I'm not going to bother right now. Oh. Oof. Ah. So yeah, I have down strike and um, auto drop on the same button. And that's why that error happens sometimes. Uh, mostly just trying to keep track. I'm trying to beat it, but usually you can see how fast I can get through an area to make sure you're still getting better. Ah, I see. That's a silver chest. I'll stop for it. So the reason I stopped for silver chest is the likelihood of blueprints. And, um... Against like scholar cape and things of that nature is actually how you get, like, really helps you with getting good times. That was re reflex. Like, I failed the reflex to just um to just kick it, but I had the reflex to block, which is nice. All right, leather weapon. That's nice. Let's get some survivability. The other relic is useless. How about we don't use this while trying to find the dash? Where could dash even be at this point? Yeah, so... Dash? The only plausible spot for it to be is up and to the right from here. Which just tells you, like, so I ha basically the next room has to go directly up, and then that's where Dash is. So right here, up is where Dash is. I know generation. I know how this theme generates. That is one of the most unfortunate locations for it to be. Because it's the last, it's one of the last locations you look. But I do know that's a possibility. I don't have sh fireball, so I have to do that one. So that maneuver puts me in a pretty bad position to be facing that knight. I'm wondering if I can change that around, but I feel like that room, because you can, um, 
spawn and a meet like you can let them spawn and then you dash under to strike the one from below you can like shark him um i feel like there is an optimal route that i just need to find almost died to troopmaster grim i'm not used to his speed beat slow i prefer Oh, because it's Troop Master Grim and not um, Nightmare King Grim. And you're just like ready, like, this is attack, jump now, and like fast fall. But it's like you fast fall into the attack because it wasn't going as fast as you expected. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I like that use of the fireball, or I mean the shield bash. The fact that I also, um... The fact that even if I take damage, I have a heal coming immediately after Lumek makes, um, that even... Like, something... I should be a lot more aggressive against Lumek, is all I'm trying to get at. And so, being aggressive there felt good. Alright. Okay. Got this taken care of. There we are. Awesome. Already nearly out of water. Guess what? That's what happens on hot days. Made it to the halfway mark without any damage. That's good. That's good. And we still have Hyperion's Ring, so survivability will not be an issue. So I can start playing a bit more aggressive, I think.
I would have gone under that or over that, but oh well. Well, that's the least amount of damage, so we'll call that a damage boost. Ooh. Ooh, most dangerous enemy. That's some good health. That's some good damage. That's some good luck. Luck. Everything's going good, or good enough. You know, not going great, but going, not going fantastically, but going and not badly. Yep. Keep this up, and I'll keep it. I'll get a sub 40 again. Don't get as many sub 40s as I hope, but. back together. Yeah. Active use of the shield bash is the theme that's distinguishing me. That's the theme I need to work on, and I'm working on it now, but yeah. More active use of shield bashes in boss fights is definitely the key that I'm missing. Because, yeah, I already shred through them, but I can shred through them faster if I do it. They can shoot two big bones at the same time? Didn't know that. Yep. Um, just like with the eyeballs of Irad, they aren't, um, none of them are delayed, stopped, or, like, any way affected by the actions the its um, ally is doing. It just kind of does its own thing. Ah, uh, left, right as the meat spawned. Oop. Go. That is a silver chest, but that's a detour, anyways. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to take the healing. Which, I mean, never... I guess I shouldn't make any, a sigh when I find an apple, but... Like, I definitely use it for its least positive purpose. Versus... That one, which was for its most positive purpose. Appreciate it. That one apple helped me get the other apple. Alright. With 260 health, I will take a resolve, a competent resolve loss for an effective theme. Nearly paid for it? Yeah, so, um,. Every heal um, at first level gives you 75 health, and um, that burn dealt 69 damage, so it actually paid for it and then gave me a little extra. The reason I'm not bothering shutting this off is because we have the mana potion there. Can't believe I let myself take damage there. Full health. 
Um, video game specifically? Sure, yeah. I'm interested in... I would be interested in your response if you're saying non-video game, but this was technically um, a theme from my friend asking um, what game, if I could only play one game, what would be. Took me a while to think of it. Um, my final answer was Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, because it has like such a thriving... Um, like, he, he said it was... Like, he had a caveat of whatever place it's in, it stays in that place permanently. And um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has like the perfect level of a developing fighting scene for me to get involved without getting like hyper intimidated, but also um, like having such a deep depth to it that and, like, that I could like definitely spend hours on it while like it's that sort of stuff. Um, like I was just trying to think because. Mm, Sorry, I'm, like, not coming up with the exact wordings, but I chose Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay, I'm just gonna end it there. There's the law. Alright, non-video game is D&D, given that I always have a group to play with. Oh, nice. Yeah. Dude, speaking of which, I need, um... Oof. Speaking of D&D &D Paranoid, ugh. Can I feel like I want to talk to you afterwards, because I have a D&D &D game that I've been, like, playing on stream. And so I've been trying to, like... The whole idea was I wanted it to be on stream, and last time I tried to bring a non-streamer into that, it didn't work so well, because, you know... The mentality of people watching was not something they were prepared for. So I've been trying to recruit basically a bunch of streamers into a game of Dungeons & Dragons. And I need more players because um, while they're, while I have like eight technically, only four have had time to play even once. And of those four, two of them are not going to have much time soon. So it's like, if you're interested in more D&D Jeff's Paranoid Themes, I'd be interested in getting... Yes, I am the DM. I would be the DM. Sorry, I recognize this is kind of weird to just throw at you, but, like, I just wanted to bring it up. You don't have to respond yet or anything like that. Sweet, I got the opportunity to be a player. Yeah, the, dude, totally, yeah. Um, So, if you want, um, feel free to p private message me here. If you can see my Discord in the corner, um, a lot of this would take place on Discord anyways, so... Like, feel free to message me through Discord, that sort of stuff. We'll talk about it more um, when I'm not streaming, you know? Like, literally, once I get off the stream, you can literally comment me, and I'm down to start talking. But right now, I need to not die. That was a hectic room for me to not die that many times. Uh... D&D as an entertainment product is very different from D&D with friends. And that's something I'm definitely learning out. Um, exactly as you're talking about, Connor Conquers. Like, that's one of the main issues, like, that I keep running into. That I'm doing D&D for the fun like I would with friends. And I have definitely felt like a lot of things could be better. But I'm like, at the same time, people are having fun. I'm not going to sacrifice fun because I can't figure out the balance properly yet. You know? But you're right. That is definitely an issue I'm running into. Ooh. Ooh. There's Murmur. Alright, we gotta teleport. Mission accomplished. I, I didn't know if I could jump in time. Oh, yeah, dude, Connor, I'd totally be down for that chat. Dude, feel free. Both of... Yeah, both of you? Like, I've been... I've been watching you quite a bit. Both of you, feel free to just contact me whenever you want. Like, if you see my Discord, feel free to just contact me on Discord. Yeah, the Discord's garbage, too. I'm not going to deny that. But, yeah, feel free to contact me, guys. I'd be interested. I am looking for more players right now because 
some of them are starting to dissipate. Don't have to be there every single session. Uh, there's a base of operations that people would be at when they're not on the mission with the team, so. Oh my gosh. I am just suddenly faltering. Nice to have them attacking in sequence like that. <laughs> Game comes first, production value second. Yep. The thing is, I'm still working on games, so production value has just been not there, is my issue. Yeah, honestly, yeah, Lambodroid, juicy damage would both be vulnerable, exactly the intent. Exactly what I've been trying to, what I'm working on to get going. Alright, so we lost our armor. Um, I am in, I'm in California, so if that wants to tell you, I, I know Greenwich Meridian time is, I think, I think it was seven hours off last time I checked. But yeah, if you want to use... Ooh. Oh, God. Another array of bot. Bot follows. Alright. Cool. Yeah, you will notice that that Discord isn't the best Discord. I'm thinking of rehauling that as well. Yeah. Right. This is not a bot. I think that one's not a bot, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't don't worry if you can't take care of it right now. I know of a website where I can take care of them as like a huge group. Um, I just need to. Do that after the stream, is my theme. Uh. Yeah, so I don't... Uh, I don't understand, like, the intent of bots. Like... It just seems so strange, like... If you're botting your own stream to, like, try to give you... Like, to make it look like you have more viewers and stuff, I could see that as a way to... Like, try to... Like, there's a whole thing of the issue with... Um... The issue with how Twitch handles... Fiends. I'm just gonna... Like, how it handles, um, viewing. That, like, you can use bots. Like, I could see people making bots for that. But, like... I'm not saying that's moral. Obviously, no. It's not moral. But... I'm saying, like, that's a reason why someone would make a bot... But, like, I don't understand what the purpose of bots raiding other people's streams is. Yeah, exactly. What are they getting out of it? I don't understand. Because, like, we know they're bots. They're literally... They're all called Haas with some sort of special theme behind it. A lot of them have 00312. Like, all that sort of stuff. And yet... Like, they're, they're not even... Like, it's shameless in their bot team. And it's like... But what? Why? I didn't have pay you. I didn't... I'm not one of those people. I don't want to become famous and buy bit, bigfollows.com, whatever that garbage is. Like... Why are you... Why? Man, when you are in a good position for White Star, White Star is great. 
Not as great as Flame Barrier, but great. Oof. Let's see. Nama or Enoch? Which one is more vulnerable to Light Stop? That's the big question I have. Hmm. Ugh. Yep. It's amazing how often that happens, where you get the heirloom and directly above it is Enoch. Like, that happens... Gosh. Like, I swear it feels like every fourth run that's the locations. And once again at the Pure Vessel fight, let's hope I get through it. Ooh, good luck. Pure Vessel is definitely... Like, those are the spots where it gets tough. Enoch first phase is greater than Nama, which is greater than true Enoch, I think anyways. Which I guess would make that Nama is Why was it so 8 bit? I have a trait called Puritan. Oh, Starcrotch Nunu. Welcome to the fault stream. I didn't even see you. Sorry, you've color blended in with another. But um everything's 8 bit because I have a trait called Puritan, which makes um characters just be those like it makes enemies into those pixelated theme. So like you'll see it on the Ma here where it's just gonna be a pixelated theme over her. As you see there. Oh, I was facing the wrong direction. Oh. Brilliant. That was a poor shield. Oh my gosh. Well, I have book after this, so at least I have that. That was my fault 100%. I did not have to jump there, and I did. I've just been off my game today. Alright, now I can read all those comments. I like the gameplay, it makes me think about buying the game. Yeah, so the game's still in early access, so if it's good now, like, it's... So one of the things is that as they add more to early access, I think they will, they have stated that they are willing to increase the price of the game as it's worth more. Um, so you might want to get into it if you're interested in buying the game. I suggest doing it now. They, um, sometime in mid to late September, so, yeah. Sometime in mid to late September, they're having another patch where they're going to add the last area. And I think they're going to get a lot of things ready so that the patch after it can be the final patch. 
um, they are hiding what the final boss is, so that um, even if you buy it later, even if you buy it once fully released, it seems like that's when everyone's gonna. F we don't know the, who the final boss is until that time. So, oof. Oh yeah, sweet. Could I use your random question of the day? Want to see what other people would say? Um, so far, the answer has been Dungeons and Dragons because I didn't clarify that it has to be a video game. Because yeah, if you could get players for Dungeons and Dragons. That's, yeah, 100%. I'm on your side with that. Ooh. Hey, Cerebellum. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, I cut my hair, um, I think it was at the beginning of this week. So, yeah, I take, um, a week off every once in a while. To make to just try to focus on things other than the stream or like background stuff and it was during doing that that i'm just like i need a haircut Uh, lost the Radiance fight, but you got through Pure Vessel. Hitless. Jeez. Yep. Glad to have everyone in chat. That's definitely great. I don't think I beat Enoch yet. Nope. I kind of got tired of Discord and Twitch for a bit. Per perfect sense. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, honestly. I'm 100% understand you there. Uh... Alright, I can't see the projectiles until they come out of that blob that is the boss. I'm not fat. My blob is just covering it. Ah, oh, that was too far. Oh, one of them actually hit. That's good. doing the one maneuver where he moves really quickly, and that's when I release the attack. Alright. I think I can beat this boss with that, but... No way I'm getting through this. I don't... I have to do another hitless tower to do this with the tower. The game bugs because of where you died against the radiance. Ugh. Sorry to hear that, man. Can't read all the comments. Sorry, I gotta. Oh. Probably should have left the hitbox while I was still invulnerable. Just play it safe. Because, like...
I see you're still as gamer as ever, lol. Yep. The Catalyst White Star, yep. Oh, right, because Vulnerable can actually apply it. Dude, I didn't even realize that. I was just like, this character has White Star, and they start with a Catalyst. I guess that's a thing. Well, honestly, probably faster if I retire my hero. Honestly, faster if I just retire my hero. Sweaty Palms, yep. Fortunately, I'm just using keys, so the Ratatat Pat is all that's affected by the sweat, instead of actually slipping and losing the analog stick or something. Alright. So yeah, Sire Bellman, if you've been gone for a while, I'm not... You know there is one more boss fight through the hardest area in the game. There. Okay. Well, tough fights. Tough fights ahead of us. Windwall Barbarian. Honestly, I'd rather do Windwall Ranger. So, Sire, I'm not sure if you're the one who's excited for this. Ranger is actually good for climbing up here. So, even though I don't fight with a Ranger, I pick the Ranger for this. Because I'm just running around trying to dodge attacks, and the Ivy platform in those large towers is actually worthwhile some at times. By the way, I can't actually use that um, relic that gives me, because that relic um, requires at least um, 1,500... Um, yeah. 150 mana, so given that my max mana is where it's at. Get me out! Get me out! Ooh. This is gives me white palace vibes? Yeah, I think that's a good explanation. It's just like... And sometimes you get the path of pain, honestly. <laughs> moving. Mmm. Didn't make it in time. I have wind wall. I need to start using wind wall. Let's make sure there's act. Yep. Oh, we get all the way to the top here. So yeah, the one that's directly up from as an exit from the these tall rooms can only ever be the room to the boss. So here we are. Uh, my boss has given me more grief than Sun Tower personally. Mmm. Get good. <laughs> I'm just joking. I guess you could say that about my archery skills. Get good. Emotional dysregularity? Who cares? It's a knight. Ugh, Holland Bodes too. Alright. So, the glitch I found where Hollow Knight, where the screen just shakes, works all across Godhome area. Oh dear. Have you considered just returning to main menu and coming back? Does that fix it? Hmm. Oof. Ranger's still pretty meta for Irad. Ugh. Yeah. Hollow Bones, Emotional Disregularity. And the Emotional Disregularity is good with the right spell. 
Windwall is not the right spell. Stop blowing me up in the air, it takes me so long to get down. Please. I have a fight to finish. There you are. Yeah, Hollow Bones was annoying there. Literally couldn't... Not sure if I was able to spend mana fast enough to ever... Even with a much of this regularity for Windwall to actually have that effect. Uh. All right. Hey, sub 40, sub 40. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was close to keep it sub 40. Yeah. Just to show you how good Flame Barrier is. Thanks, we could. Thanks. Uh. Whew. Well. So, what I've been doing is in the last two. After I finish two um, runs, I use what excess time I have left to do. Um, the To do New Game Plus runs. And we got more hosses. That was close by one second, yep. I remember that being good pre Irad, yep. Last health upgrade management upgrade. From there. Gonna stick with the set there. And I have a bunch of additional rune weight, so what should I take? Not enough to get either red runes or stone runes. Only got two bounty runes. Alright. Just grab a soul steal. Alright. Yep. All the bot followers. Bots deserve some love. Well, if they could. If the bot could experience love, then I'd recognize the argument. But, like, 
I've worked with machines. I know at least basic level programming. Um, I happen to know a bit about bot love. Alright. So, yeah, let's just go and try to fight Void Beast Barrett. Let's. I only have so much time. Let's just go face Void Beast Barrett with it. Butts don't have emotions, that's why they're always sad. I mean, I wouldn't even, they're not sad, they're not. But, like, I understand the argument. Thank you, Pizza. I appreciate it. Ooh! Ooh. And the reason I'm not staying on that one is because of this shade right here. Go! Um, let's see. What's the f um? What's this file for? Um, so, oh right. So I'm part of a beta patch theme. So I actually this. So when I entered the beta patch, it reset my file, and like I was, they allowed me to export my old files back. But I'm just like, nah. I'm just gonna start from the beginning. So this is my actual just play through the game casually file that I've been playing since I got um in the beta patch. So it's only to New Game Plus 2, because since getting to the beta patch, I only played so much when not speedrunning. So this is actually just my casual playthrough of the game. That's all this file is. Alright. Okay, we're gonna go kill. Oh wait, I can't. Duh. Oh yeah. Increased survivability of these things. Filling it now. Woo! But, Murray Bot, there's also a site, I believe. Yes. So, there is a website that I'm going to have to go to after I'm done with this um, stream, which will um, remove. Unfortunately, I do think it removes all bots for, like, within the past. Or all follows within the past day, which includes the bots. But it might. Um, I'm not. Basically, unfortunately, Kirby here. Um, might actually get removed from my follows list if it works as I understand it works. I have not had to use it before. Well, thank you, Blobfish. Thank you, Blobfish. I wonder if a bot removing bot has ever removed itself on accident. Um, so I think you cannot. No. I, um, I know this. You cannot p ban yourself, so it would run into that issue. If it tried to ban itself, it just wouldn't. It'd be refused. So, literally, there's a security measure in the game to prevent bots from buying it. Yeah, blobfish are out to get you, and blobfish are a lot more terrifying in this. All right. Let's see. 
So I've just been really liking Master Smith upgrades. So we'll have another one of those. Alright. Well, we'll do that one more time with this duelist. And then we'll I'll take a break, refill my water, we'll get to the next game. And then I'll work on banning the horde of hosts of Hoss. Ugh. Always concerning because it's like, I don't know how many of... Uh, it makes even my viewer counts feel false because... It just, you know, I don't know, like, unless they comment, which, by the way, a lot of people are here today. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if they don't comment, I know there are people that just like lurking, but it's like, I have to now assume that everyone who hasn't commented is a bot that's on my viewer account. Ugh. There are three mods in chat. Shouldn't one of us ban the bots? Uh, so banning them doesn't unfollow them. So I have to actually go to a website to take care of that. So... Funniest anti-piracy member measure was in The Richer 2. I do not know about this story. Feel free to tell me. I appreciate the story. I do know there was, like, um, a Game Maker Tycoon game that, um, their piracy issue, their piracy solution was if you try to pirate the game, at a certain point of success, um, you'll actually stop making money as it, like, sends a message that people are pirating your game and therefore you can't, like, your money prices are capped sort of theme. So their anti-piracy method is basically you dealt with piracy as um, a game creator. I was gonna say get back down here, but I could just shoot you from there. Uh, are these bots simply made to spite creators by inflating their follower count? Like, I'm not... To be fair, that's not exactly spiking creators. Um... Like, that's the thing. I don't even know, like... Head out for now. Catch you later. Alright, thank you very much for staying around as long as you did, Cyrebellum. Glad to have you here. But, like... Inflating their follower count doesn't really hurt creators, it's just the, um, kind of annoyance of not being able to tell who is your, um, who is actually a follower and who is just a bot. Which I guess would be inflating, but, like, it's not the inflating of the follower count that does it, it's the consequences of it. Instead of warning message, they give a more light hand message from the creator going, please buy the real game if you enjoy it so much. Aw. Um. Ugh. That is funny. That's also disgusting. But. If you're there for the gameplay, that doesn't even stop them. The fact- okay, can I just state- that means that they spent the time programming in that old peasant woman. And, like, they actually dedicated resources to making that scene. And, I don't know, it just- that's interesting, I'm wondering who came up with the idea at first. Yes, they had fun with it, but still, like, the resources had to come from somewhere. Either the peasant woman already- oh god. 
new and improved hammers are even scarier than normal hammers. Because when I'm way over here, it could still do that and hit me. Add in that this one has detonator. And I there's just no escape. Oh gosh. fact for train models in Fallout, they just use an NPC and replace their head with a train model to save resources. Oh, like how many... I'm like, how does that save resources? They still have to add the character, but I realize they're saving in um, information resources. Love is just greater than hammer is greater than da or on the daggers on the threat meter. Okay, I'm going to say um, hammers because of how they've improved them. Um, I'm gonna say because of how they improved them, hammers are actually up there with blobfish, if not above them. Despite, like, cause they still have that damage output. They have this around the same level of damage output. And they are much scarier. Um, hammer level one, yeah, agreed. But hammer level two, uh, hammer level three, those guys are more threatening than blobfishes. But yeah, Hammer level 1 versus Blobfish level 1, Blobfish level 1 is more threatening. But Hammer level 2 versus Blobfish level 2, Hammer wins. Ooh. I don't think the Hammer Circle is really intuitive. Um, I think people who didn't know that they used to do circles on themselves are going to be really confused now. Yep. That's... I have suggested that I have stated that the hammers I really do not like their new attack. All right. Well, we're going here at low health. But we're basically out of time, so we're doing it at low health. So those are bigger than um, their counterparts. Good enough. Good to know, I say, as I nearly fall for the same trap twice. In case you're wondering, there is a glitch in the beta patch that makes armor not work properly, if you're wondering why I'm not, why my character has so little armor for being in New Game Plus 2. Because it's pointless to gain armor, because... So basically, you know how armor can block up to 40% of the damage? Well, they did glitch, so while in the beta pet patch, instead it's only 4%. So... No real point in armor, after the first point, I feel. Alright. Well. I don't know, it's a, about the armor I had when I beat New Game... It's about the armor I had when I beat New Game Plus 10, yep. Uh, that's just hardcore mode. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright. Well, I am going to take a break. If you guys are just here for Rogue Legacy 2, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. But if you want to stay around, I'm going to start my playthrough of Keen Knight. So I've been doing all the Shovel Knight games, and we're on to the last one, Keen Knight. So if you guys want to stay that, see that, see you in a bit. If you just came here for Rogue Legacy 2, have a wonderful day. I'm going to go refill my water.
Yeah. Suiku gained very deep philosophical. I'm here because I exist. I think, therefore, I am. Realizing I, I feel, therefore, I am not a bot. All those little theological questions to make sure he does not have to ban himself. Alright. And... And this is no longer a speed run. This is now a first playthrough. Alright, just gain everything all taken care of. Now I grab Shovel Knight. Whew. Been a day. Been a day. First playthrough speed run. I. I'd be down for it. Just. Not in the cards right now. So I'm just like looking at this picture. So Shovel Knight is still loading. Um, like it, it says it's running, but it hasn't popped up the window yet. So I'm just waiting for it. There it goes. Now we just wait for the theme to capture it. There we are. Alright. So last time, the thing start, the streams itself started crashing. I'm going to just check to make sure the stream's all looking good. Yes, the stream's looking great. Great stream. Alright. So now we can actually start properly. <clears throat> I'm going to take my deep breath, and then we'll set it up. Ugh. I did that breath wrong. Oh well. Shovel Knight Key Knight today. That is correct. That is correct. Alright. Give me a second to breathe, get it all set up, and I'm gonna start it up. Alright. Because yeah, I tried to do this yesterday, and things were crashing, so now we're doing it proper. Hey everyone, welcome back to Shovel Knight. And welcome back to this time, we're doing Key Knight. Let's see how this fares. So we've gone through Shovel Knight, Plague Knight, Spectre Knight, now Key Knight. Regal prequel. So this is also happening before the story. Alright. Match brains and bronze. I'm actually really hopeful with the matching of, br of brains. I wonder how that's going to be very different. Because that seems like... Yeah, King of Cards. It's like I'm going to be playing a card game in this. I'm really interested in how they are going to interact with that. Is there a game you have not yet played and would like to play, and would be willing to watch speedruns of it before playing to try a first playthrough plus speedrun? Ooh. Games that I haven't played, be interested in doing a first playthrough plus... Hmm. So the big problem is a lot... It would have to be a game that the story doesn't matter too much. It would have to be a game where the story doesn't matter too much. That's how... Um... Because, like... I'm trying to think. If there's... Super Meat Boy Forever. That's probably a game I'd be interested in doing a first playthrough speed run of. Super Meat Boy Forever. Something of that nature. Alright. Well, Keen Knight. Keen of Cards. <clears throat> Much more regal story. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Gotta have a good Keen Knight voice for this. Uh. By all appearances, peace has flourished, and carefree new pastimes have taken hold. A card game called Joustus has swept the land, and with it, word of a grand tournament. To be honest, speedruns do not spoil too much of the story, but I can't really interact with the story after I've done the speedruns is my issue. Presiding over the contest are three Joustus judges. These wise kings have been chosen to spread joy and unity. This contest is of great interest to Keen Knight, for though some call him a fool who plays at Keen, even fools know this. Whoever defeats all three Justice Judges will win an incredible treasure and be crowned King of Cards.
Competing for the Joust this crown is no simple matter, but Keynite schemes, undeterred, turd, toward a kingdom of his own. So it's not exactly that I don't want the speedrun to spoil the story, it's that story-centric games usually have a reason for the pace in they have, and um, to do a speedrun obviously shifts the pacing around. But Super Meat Boy is meant to be fast-paced, so that's like a perfect example. It'd have to be a game that's meant to be fast-paced. Just the cape billows in the wind waiting for me to act. Victory. Alright. Oof. I think I, I remember hearing about that, that, like, after the dash, he... Alright. So get a sense of how it works. Oh, so, like, it forces you to learn there. I see. It's pretty cool. He just launched so far. Trackmania? Ooh! Yeah, okay. A racing game, I'd be down to speedrun the first time. Uh. But yeah. Just nice little one-two punch. Very simple combat. This, yeah. His combat is very simple, but it's nice in its simplicity. There was gold hidden in the wall. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. There we are. The cluster truck is another one that's good to speed through. Good to know. Honestly, just that forward dash is most of the mobility I need. Alright, so... Okay, so I have to actually bounce on something to get that um, forward dash back. That's good enough. Oh my god. Well, I didn't lose much money, but I just, like, I made a stupid mistake. That is not what I thought a checkpoint would look like. Can't wait to see the abilities Key Knight gets. Me either. I'm already liking, like, it's a simple, but very, um, stylized attack. I like it. Alright, come on. Oh, I need to bounce off of it to get... Alright. There we go. Alright, cool. So it's like, you lose control, but you gain power. I really like that. That's... This maneuver feels good. Like, the way it chains into itself. Oh, is this like the secret area for... Ah... Uh, hopefully, yeah. That was a mistake. Alright. Try that again. Oof. Pretty sure that most of Key Knight's basic moves are based off of Wario. Ah, such as the shoulder bash. Yep. That's definitely that's definitely a Wario short shoulder bash. And Wario is great. Wario is a great game. All the Wario lands. And the Wario wears. Oh man, Warrior Wears out. I gotta get Warrior Wears, um, get it together, whatever it's called. Me and my bro gotta play that at some point. That'd be an amazing theme to do. I'm mostly listening to you, and I wondered what the heck Key Knight is, and then you realize, oh. Yep. This is Key Knight. This boisterous, masterful looking man. They're gonna have some good armors for this one as well. Alright. 
seems like it. Yeah, it's very much... Oh! I see. Alright, so this one, it seems like um, the healing is much more spaced out, but is far more, like, important, because I definitely was taking more damage. Ooh. What's that? Oh, there's no boss fight here? That surprises me. Alright, I got th all three there. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. This is a very different map. This is a very different map. Uh, I own Warland of the Shake Dimension. Oh yeah, Warland Shake It was great. I I love the stylized of the animations there and all that stuff. It was a way better game than you'd expect it to be. Um, oh, because in the UK it could be seen as a sexual term, so it's changed to Shake Dimension. <laughs> I mean, I guess I guess I could see that argument really easily. All right. Well, let's see how these ones work out. Continue, King Knight. Whoa! That was a way to get that to work. Alright. So we have that. Speedy. Oh! So, on the grassy parts, you don't actually... Huh. Good to know. I could recover. Oh well. Few stupid pits of death. So it's kind of funny because pits of death, like I still have the issue with them, but I only have four hearts, and hearts are meant to go away a lot faster with Keen Knight, it seems, because he can recover them easier as well. So, hmm. I'll have to keep playing with it, but. Careful. There we are. All right. Dangerous enemies ahead. So yeah, they needed like two. Why did they split this up into two stages? Like, it feels like in the other versions, this would just be a single stage that's just really long. Hmm. Oh well. I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh no! Okay, thank goodness. There we are. Another change they made was for a Sly Cooper series. It's Sly Raccoon, because the marketing purposes. Oh, Cooper is a slain word of some sort. Alright. Kind of weird how that stuff becomes necessary. Oof. I feel like I did a move when I fell off and then I just turned quickly back. Okay, that looks cool. Oop. There we are. And hook. 
Take care of things. Yeah, I like Key Knight. Already. Now, do I like it more than Spectre Knight? We're gonna have to see how the upgrades feel. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I definitely like the way that the shoulder charge um, launches you forward real fast. So weird that King Knight has no boss fights at the end. Really makes it more of a Mario or like Legend of Zelda 2 if you've ever played that. The Homestead. Oh, my little prince! Do you return to save the day from with the ingredients I requested? Mother, I am no prince. I am a king. And mother, kings have subjects who do their bidding for them. Oh, my precious love. Those are rats, n not subjects. My rats are loyal to the last. They're my starters. Subjects, part of my grand plan. I must acquire a Joustus deck and be declared the king of cards. This is far more important than errands. Well, you can't roll on an empty stomach. Please, my valiant knight, eat! Hearty meat pie, baked with love by your mom. Currently gain one health heart. It's baked with love by your mom. How can you ever deny that? Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Pumpkin pauldron prince. You look so handsome. You'll make a wise and noble king. Sweet, have you bought some coin? I'd love to cook for you. Not enough coin, mother, but I will work on it. Oh, the rats rest by the fireplace. That looks like I can, like, dive into that. It seems to not be the case. Well, thank you, mother. I will come back for more food another day. These feel really short, though. Alright, Spectral Ravine. Here we have our first actual fight, I think. Just jump up from below. Ooh. That's a nice way to show you, like, you have to go off of those guys. That's a nice thing. Alright, I'm just trying to think of how I get to that. Ah, uh, I have an idea. There we are. Ooh. They're short and sweet, and yeah, definitely... Like, I've talked about my annoyance with bottomless pits, but if, like, these short... These stages are just this short, like... Who cares to an extent? You're not spending much time here anyways. Food. All that resource. Soon I'll have money for so I can give more to my mother. Perhaps we can use that money to teach, to train some of the rats to go get the ingredients for delicious pies. Hmm. Aha! I win the shoulder charge. Never forget that. Alright. Oh. Since I went down here, so I guess I wasn't supposed to go down there at all. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. 
Uh, a little mistakes taking a lot of time, but I'm not getting hurt, so. This will only game out of four of them do not have checkpoints achievements. So I believe there's not no death one either. Hmm. So as you probably guessed, I was expecting to bounce into that, get that gold, and then just keep moving. Just get knocked a little too short. Well, that's my only issue. Well, at least there's only 10 seconds away to collect it again. Yep. Because it's short. The short stages do make that more tolerable. But again, bombless pits, guys. Bombless pits. Think real hard why these are necessary for your game. If it's because, well, something has to happen when you fall into a pit, think harder. That's my general argument. People can disagree with me. That's perfectly acceptable. But I just... Alright. There we go. I will say keep collecting the merit medals. Yep, I tend to take, I tend to grab the collectibles that are in my path. Whether or not I fight to the death for them, probably not. But I fight for them. So they're expecting pretty good mastery of this shoulder charge pretty early on. I haven't even got my first item yet. And they're already expecting me to be able to do a maneuver like that one over there. With a bombless... May I repeat? Bombless pits! If you fail. Like, there's degrees of failure that are not just instant death. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get that anymore. Ugh. Alright, Spectre Knight. Your quest to become King of Cards has not gone unnoticed. Ah, oh, word has reached the slums, has it? Am I to travel within an entourage of many beggars now? <sighs> you shall remain silent and heed my words well. You stand no chance unless you... Out of my way, you, re you wrecking husk! I won't, I won't humor pander panhandlers on my path to the Justice Crown! I'm assuming they're asking to join the group. Yep. A child in the guise of a monarch. I will teach you respect and the true meaning of fear. I mean, you're just an edge lord in the guise of a assassin. Like, sure, I might be a child in the guise of a monarch. You're just a teenager in the guise of a cloak. Like, you're no better. <laughs> ah. This was the one you completed first, but it also took you the longest to complete. Uh, you are impudent, but quick on your feet. Interesting. Whores, you touched my cape! Now I must launder away your disgusting filth. Take these, and waste no more of my time. Justice deck, yes! A starter deck of justice cards! Finally, your card quest can begin! A justice deck? Did you soil it with your witchery? They're ordinary justice cards, you simpleton. 
Seek the nearest house of justice and play your role. My role is keen. I dare refuse any other. Alright. Ooh, quick gold. Quick some gold. Take care of that first. Oh, gotta keep moving. One of these. Oh. Didn't even notice the pit. Maybe I can fix it. Gosh, all right. All right, get that diamond. I'm not sure I can reach. Yeah, I couldn't reach those red ones in time. Oh well. There we go. Come on. Fill up. All right. Oof. You gonna head to bed, sweet cute? Alright, have a good one, man. Glad to have you as long as you were. Okay, leave with all our precious gold. Gold that must be spent at the homestead to buy some delicious food for mother. Pumpkin pauldron. Keen pumpkin pauldron for you. Thank you, mother. Truly the greatest of all. They have a strong family by their side. Ooh. Hello, rat servants. Well done. Ah, so this is where you carry the rope. Glad to have you around at work with us. Can I just note that he basically flies on the... These rat servants fly him down his chimney. Like, this is the beginning of Santa Claus, everyone. You just don't realize it yet. Well, that's actually pretty impressive, honestly. That's an impressive skill on his part. Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and next time, we will be entering the House of Joustus. Anyways, again, have so much fun watching. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Don't you worry, Just Paranoid, that's just for my YouTube video. I'll be continuing this in just a bit. Rats now, reindeer later. Ah, yes, yes. As he needed to upgrade the rats. He just added specific... It was just the rats got really big, and they got disguised as reindeer. They got misunderstood as reindeer. That's all it is. They were rats all along. They were just so big, they refused to believe they were rats. Ah. Uh. Whew. North Bull Man has some crazy themes. Can't live in the North Pole without mother's cooking. Alright. Hey everyone, welcome back to King Knight. This time, we are entering, for the first time, the House of Joustus. And we have a proper deck! Right, come on. No way there isn't. Oh. But I made it upstairs. I deserve the top top spot. Oh well. Smite it all. I had such a fine run, I did. I'll never be good enough to challenge Keen Pride more. My, my, my. Is that brand new Justice deck? Perhaps we could go over the rules together. My mind is as honed as my armor. I need to, no prior experience to defeat a knave at cards. Set aside. I don't- I mean no disrespect, your highness, but you'll be trounced and your riches squandered without proper advice. It'd be wise and valorous for us both to practice justice, my lord. Well, as long as he calls me a lord, I'll accept. Ready for a bit of brush-up on the card playing parlance, sire? Uh, 
Alright. To win justice, you have to claim more gems than your opponents. To start, pick a card from your hand and place it on the board. Alright, well, it suggests the propeller rat. Can't put it here. Place card. Must push card onto a gem. Okay. If your card covers a gem, you claim it. But you can't just place a card onto a gem. You have to push it on. Arrows indicate which direction your card can push. Push the card you already placed to claim the gem. Ah, I see. So I can use this guy here. What? No. Why wouldn't I use Beto? Alright, fine. We'll use Bone Claim. There we are. Ah, uh, so it's just us fighting for this. As you can see, I claim the gem by pushing your card up. Push the card right to reclaim the gem for yourself. Oh, but you see, you can't push there. Your card is blocked by an opposing arrow. There's still a way to push my card off the gem. You can insert your card in between. Aha, so I can push your card away. So what did it mean, opposing arrow? Oh, that's what that's why it had me do that, because there's a post... Okay, I see the little thief. The match is almost over. The game ends with the Sarah Squares are full. Each player must place a card on their turn, but only... But the only move I can make will lose me the game. My hand is forced. I see. You won! Open Squares are full, plus Z to continue. Fine match, my lord. It's lovely to play for fun. In real games, the winner takes a card. You know, for keeps. I think that's the practice I need. We're gonna go. You either do or do not understand it. Luckily, if you don't understand, it's completely optional. I want it to be the thing I do. Unfortunately. I have now addressed this master. Is that not the intent? Of all my work. Learning from Rookie. You found my secret lookout! Great view, huh? I've always wanted to ride in an airship. It's my dream. That sounds dumb. Was it about a giant floating target? Hey, it's, it is not. The Glidewing's captain can dodge any threat. He's even got his own card. Here, have one. Hey! Don't forget to add it to your deck. Oh, edit deck. Ooh. A lot of very simple cards. So, here's the thing. If I could... So my idea is if I can put, like, a chicken on a spot, like, it can't get... I can't really place it many areas, but I can also lock into positions. I'm going to stick with my current deck, but I'll keep that in mind. Um... Oh, is there actually, like... Alright. No, no. Well, I'll keep that in mind if I ever need Cooper. You know what? Yeah, we should, we should add Cooper. We should add Cooper. But what card do we replace? Let's see, we have a left and up, a down and right, a di... We have basically a, a perfectly balanced deck. So... I want Cooper to replace... Hmm. Will Cooper replace... I can't lose one of my loyal henchmen rats. So I'll re replace a beetle for it. Let's see how Cooper feels. Cheat cards? But I'm a master! Why would I need a cheat? Shoulder of Bashing. Keen's costume. No, Keen's wardrobe, not costume. Get this, Ron. Health and vigor? G delicious meat pies and vigor cream pies. We got merit medals. Alright. Am I fast? I'm already the best at justice. I want to be the best and I want to be the fastest. I have to challenge a child? Winning the justice crown should be a piece of cake. Hey, are we playing justice or what, mister? I've got Beto cards and Fleeto cards. Alright. 
Key Knight versus Plain Kid. All right. So I'm thinking I'm gonna place it here so I can push uh, myself there with the chicken. All right. You could only put move in there, those directions. So I'm just gonna pick the chicken and it can't be stopped. Oh. There's no tiles to place things, correct? Yep. There's no tiles to place things. Squares are full. Choose a card to take. Oh, I take one of his cards. Okay. You obtained Beto! No, I don't really need Beto's. Well, I guess I'm not the best at Joustus anymore. We're the fastest, probably. Young subject, heed my keenly wisdom. You don't actually need to be the fastest. Just tell people you are. But wouldn't that be lying? I don't know. But if you never race anyone, then you can never be proven wrong. I I see. You're right. You're actually right, mister. Wow, thanks. I, I'm the fastest. No one can outrun me. Bye. <laughs> All right, knowing that they could take my cards, I'm probably going to throw that back and put my beetle back in. Just have the default deck. And I can worry about making a th more threatening deck when I face more dangerous toes. Seems like hardly a fortnight ago, I never heard of justice. Now I'm competing. What times we live in. What a delicious game justice is. I mean, delightful. I'm like a kid again when I play. A kid, go, eh. As you might have overheard, I've become unbeatable. Care to butt heads? Yes, I've deliberated over my deck for days, but now it's goat time. All right, we have a much bigger board, so it's going to be a much longer game. This is the Goatitian. All right. All right, so I'm going to put myself here so that I can push it left and get there is my idea. Actually, it's better if I do this one. Alright, so we move that there. Alright, so they've locked out that crystal very effectively. But I wonder, so I'm thinking I could push that down and then push it down, push mine down after it. Um, that's a bad idea. Wait, hold up. Can I... get myself in competition, but if they push up, then I'm out. Um... So if I move there... Alright. I can move... Hmm. I think this will work, but if it's not... Oh well, I have inf I didn't lose any cards in the process. There we go. Good for me. All right, now I'm just going to start filling up space so that they can't really um, deal with me because like I can't put it there. That's a bad idea. I just want to make sure they can't um, take away my, my place. So I'm going to put one here. Right, because if they only get one point, they lose. Hmm. So if I put it here, they have to move one up. They get one point, and I win. That's my understanding. That is my understanding. Alright, I was incorrect. That's okay. What I can actually do is I can push them there. Oh, nope, can't. Alright. I can push the... Ooh. 
Oh, that blocks all directions. Okay. Figured it out. I'm figuring it out. Alright. Well, I can still... Push that there. End the game. I have two gems. I win. Awesome. Um, grabbing all three gems allows you to gem sweep me and collect three cards instead of one. Good to know. Alright. So, this seems like a good card. Gold armor. There we go. The victory there. What a delicious... Oh. So yeah, here I'm guessing the area I can probably beat all of them without having to build up my deck. Barhup, I'll have a generous goblet of your finest juice. To me, the future king of cards. Future king, you say? With your gleaming getup, I have to expect to toast an entire house with a round. Well, as a matter of fact, maybe I will. Yes indeed, juice of the house, the fight is for everyone. To a new era of my triumph. Incredible, generous goblets for everyone on behalf of our new philan philan philanthropist. Fee of 5,000 gold will, of course, be required for the consideration, sir. High roller? Heh, <laughs> more like eye roller. You're all the same. Noble intentions, but no coin. It would appear to me that you're the king of disappointment. Well, let me go win a round and get myself the money. Did you know it took three planes to travel here? And boy, are my arms tired. You made it all the way up here just to look at my Jousts puzzle? Then let me sum it up nicely for you. You'll have to win in one move. Call it single combat. Alright, win in one move. In the game in one turn. Uh, all right, so he has no ways to push. So I can, can I just do that? Let's see. So if I do that, he pushes down. He pushes like. Oh, wrong move. All right. Try again. Uh, so that's all it was. I didn't. Realize you can do that. Duh. Okay. Well then, very simple. Just win the game in one turn. Literally just pick this card so he can't do that push. Nice little teaching method. Forced to put there. Okay. Solved it. Figured it out. Alright. 300 gold. That's why I need it. Wait, you figured it out? That was supposedly impossible. You are just astounding. Well, have you practiced it together yet? There's more than one puzzle. I've still got a stack of card conundrums on deck. Let's keep going. Let's figure it out. Okay. Win the game in one turn. So I am blue. Okay, so he has three on red. That's the main issue. It's like... Oh, oh, I know. I think. So my understanding is... Let's see. Problem... Oh, he can't. So here's what I do. I push that, that goes there. The left one cannot target that. Because of this guy here, he cannot target it with the left. Um, up and up and down don't work. Um, yeah. So this is the move. Alright, cool. Bad puns won't end no matter how much you ignore me. Understood. Thank, thank you for the puns, though, Dr. Nefariously Handsome. Ah. Alright. It doesn't take a keen to realize that solving this last puzzle may be a futile task. Will you dig in and break new ground? And with your shuffle? I will. I will. Alright. Thank you very much, Dr. Nefariously Handsome. I do appreciate it. And your handsome demeanor as well. Alright. So I need to run the move in one turn. I will have to follow this adventure. Alright? Well, let's find out. Alright. So. I have one move. Really, I feel like I just need to not give them the opportunity to push a guy left. Literally, I think I just need to push this guy down, and that will win it. Oh, I can't. Alright. Hmm. Oh, but I could push this guy down? Huh. So if I push this guy down, he can't push left. Um, I just need to confirm things, you know. 
Yeah, so he's forced to place that there. No, he can't even place it there. All right. I think that wait, I think that wins me. Oh, nope, never mind. Well, figured it out. Yep, I plan to buy pints on me once I finish up with these puzzles. I just want to get the puzzle. All right. So you can just push like that if I do that. Let's see. How can I... Can't move there. Can't place, must push card onto a gem. Alright. Let's see. What other pushes could I do? Can't push this guy down. Hmm. That just reaches the edge, so that doesn't work. I'm not even sure what other plays I have, really, is my issue. Seems like everything's walled off. Like, that's my play. And you just can't... Oh, that's it! He can't place anything, so puzzle solved. Alright. Frog seems rich as a prince, but I tried kissing it. Didn't turn out well. Hey, there we are. Got all the riddles. Justice has been served. At long last, I must contribute to your noble cause. Croker. Thank you, Croker. Now, how about those drinks? Indeed. Alright, here's the gold. Be still, my heart. We have a new patron to Key Knight. Three cheers for the key of this house. Horns of Heraldine, press C, reclaim gold and shred enemies with confetti. Alright. Hold up. Might as well have a little gold here. We have Black Knight there. Aha! Knew it. Hey, more cards! I like to call it the power of presentation. Beautiful. What about you? Chester, what do you have to say? Hey there, your highness! I've got some hot merchandise to juice up your Jassus game. Why not have a look? Alright, level one mystery card. Cheat, play them all. Play all three cards in your hand at once. All cards on a gem flip to become yours. Or... Change your opponent's hand to three weak cards. That seems way too powerful a cheat of cheats. Chester, I'm not sure I need you, but if I do, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Never seen hoof or hard of you before, Goldie. This is my neighborhood post. Play Chester with a horse like me, you get trampled. But if you insist, you'll need to pay Chester a fortune to reclaim all the cards I win from you. Giddy up. Croker's a good card. His left push is double error, so you can push any card that is a, a single error. Oh, didn't know that. Alright. So, left and right is all he has. So... Ooh, I know. Place this here. He can't push it. I push it down. He's locked. It's, it's kind of locked. Got it. There we go. Now have fun pushing that. Bam. Easy enough. Uh. Whew. Alright. Simple enough. I think I got all of the ones here. I'm not going to buy Chester's Cheats right now. You have my attention now, Keen, or otherwise you have skill enough at the game, I admit. My knees grows with the developments of this Justice Crown debacle. 
The moment I realized that a mastery of justice would provide insight, I became a champion myself. I'd best you easily in honor combat, but in justice, we cross cards. My mind has victory held steadfast. Come, Terrapin, and ambush! <laughs> Terrapin is his card playing table. Onward, my turtle companion! Let us give our foe a worthy joust! Alright. Q Knight versus Black Knight. So he starts us off. I kind of want to push that card away. Away. No, it's better if I do this, and then if he pushes down, I just push mine back. Alright, so now that can't be pushed down right now. Um, that doesn't even help him. He used the cheat and it didn't even help him. Alright. I'm going to put that here, just as a... Hold up, hold up. Better, better. Push that there. He can't move that one. Beautiful. Alright. Push that out. I have no idea what that fire is, but I don't like it. Oh, he destroyed that area of the board that was under his control. Okay. Alright. Do I want to claim that from him? Or do I just want to end the fight soon? Alright. I'm just trying to keep an eye on what moves he can do. I want to push him out of there. Claim this as my own. Alright. These aren't exactly good spots. Alright. So by putting this here, he can no longer push that down. So I think that's the play. Yeah, you can't move that left. You can't move that up or down. I think this locks me into victory. If the game ends. Alright. I could do this. Try to get um, a victory, but I think he just blows up the board. And then I have to keep moving. Yep, so he blows up the board. Just keep it moving. Oh, am I losing the cards themselves? Alright. So he has an up and down. He can knock this thing down. Which means I need to use this guy here. Alright. Got it. Oh, I can't move that up now. Well, he can't. Let's see. If he does that, I'm, he moves it left. I move it up. And that ends the game. Oh my god, he has that card. I didn't even realize that was a card he had. I was looking at the skeleton. Alright. Well. Takes one of my cards. That's okay. I lose Beto. I'll just get another Beto. Okay. I can rematch this. Alright, so now I understand how it works. I think I, I'm i not going for the three win. I should just look to close out the game once I have a success rate. A successful strategy. Alright, so that double line is the push. Is the super push that you guys were talking about. 
All right. That's not a good spot for me. All right, so he's looking to burn that. All right, well, as long as you're looking to burn that, I'm happy with you positioning yourself there. All right. I mean, I'm just gonna play. Ah, oh, can't push up. Got it. It's nice. All mine are up and down, unfortunately, but we can knock our guy up. Force him to try to set a fire. Yep. Alright, you set your fire there. I'm happy for it. Um, Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place my cards right now. Um, yeah, so I want to place this here so I can then push it. Okay, got it. Black Knight out. Thank you. If I move this, he can then move it right. I think it's just better if I um, basically lock his position. Can't work. Alright, just trying to figure out He's going to try to push um, Black Knight down, is my guess. Um, he can't push it down because of that black... Alright, got it. Whew. I think I just need to use this now, fortunately. Alright, that's fine. I just need to make sure he doesn't set the world on fire, honestly. So I think the correct answer is literally just to push down and win. Yep. There we go. Double arrow can push any card as long as it's singular and the right direction it gets blocked by a, by double pushes. And I get to steal his Black Knight. A double push. And we beat the Black Knight as own game. Turpin, my loyal steed. Even with your tactical guidance, we lost. This shiny charlatan called our gambits. But dare not, Key Knight, for though it's been a fun and games, I sense something is not right. Tread lightly in your leggings. Now is the time to be choosing allies wisely, with strategy in mind. You there! The pauldrons, fancy pants, yes, you! My friend and I have an offer for you. We need to talk elsewhere. Sorry, petitioners, I am not accepting gifts from peasants, and I won't have a word of your pleasantries. Does the Jazz's crown ring a bell? We bet you no harm, and wish to hear your story. Please, your highness. Hmm. Finally some recognition of my status. Very well, I'll hear you out. Heave ho! Two and grab the rope. All right, let's go, my loyal subjects. Join me to a great location of safety. Man, these rats are something else. This ramshackle monstrosity seems ready to splinter to bits, but I must say. This view of my future kingdom is quite remarkable. The, the Glidween is a sturdy lass. My crew of fortune seekers depends on her, and we turn a mighty profit. And lately, we've had our eyes on the Joust's crown. But we need a champion who can outplay Keen Pride more, and clearly, you, my friend, have a magic touch. Oh, I assure you, the Joust's judges will be a small work for a talent such as my own. Your Grace, I believe we have an understanding. If we work together, the glory will be yours. First up, it's Keen Pride more. A bearded noble with a razor wit. We're nearing his domain, Pridemore Keep. 
but it will be a moment yet. Have a stroll around the Grey Wing and rest up. Welcome aboard. Key Knight, you dazzle me with your go with your gleam. A moment, if I may. Why, I do feel rather regal today. What troubles you, Bard? Merit medals. You see, I've re realized that the, those brave enough to find them have most interesting tales to tell. Most interesting indeed. Perhaps I could take a peek at your majestic collection to inspire a melody? Ten merit medals? You're quickly becoming a bard in your own right. It's not much, but I've saved 900 gold to mark the occasion. Would you accept it? I have another form of patronage, sire. Please allow me to regale you with a verse you've inspired. <laughs> As the trod through the grass, or the hills or the plains, the king's cleanest trousers grew soiled with stains. I don't like this song already. Abroad from his castle, aloft in the sky, he traded his kingdom for a flagoon of lie. Sir, that is... that is not the correct song. Read the atmosphere! Ugh. Oh well. Oh well. You'll get good work eventually. Surprised to see you here in the back, fancy pants. When the glade wing creaks, I'm the gal with the grease. Do a little freelance inventing, will you? Wanna see? Alright, hold to cry your heart out and restore health. Spin to absorb nearby gold. Interesting. Hail, I set to knees, re regarding my presence. Dost thou wondereth why the apparition stands before you? Well, well, not really, no. In life, I was called the Vicar of Vigor. You have seen my many statues scattered across the land. Alas, as prophesied, I cannot find eternal rest, as I have no one upon whom I bequeath my treasured heirlooms. Perhaps you'd agree to take them off my transparent hands. Healing hammer. Pound health hearts out of your enemies. Send forth a flying lance. Alright. Press C to send forth a flying lance. Alright. Ah, uh, hold a moment, if you please. Don't leave yet, for you see, you've carried out my desperate plea, my own soul, I'm finally free! If you are destined to become a king, afford me now some time to see. Oh, how I've longed to tell my tale of how I came beyond the veil. What are these vagaries? Do you think I have all day? But hidden behind my tales are rich lessons. For instance, the tale of how, many statu how my many statues came to be. Silence! I don't have time for this. I'm building an empire, not an opera house. Oh, I, I suppose my business in this realm is finished then. Farewell, forever. You don't look like you're... Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Key Knight seems to have a ton of healing. Yep. Will look like to me as well. Oh, hey! Scramma Swamp. As all has been written, let not thy fate wane, for when the bell tolls, the, the deeds shall lay plain. What shall I reveal? Justice. Justice, do you think I follow every daily daily while they flare, flare in time soon game? Well, maybe I do. Victory, 7. Losses, 2. Draws, 1. Arbitrary of Generators, you defeated 60% of challenges. Three to lose. 31% is the number of cards you have pushed. Crystal, you achieved a gem sweep zero times. You've uh, seen all my matches? I didn't even notice you there. You must be amazed at my tactics. Fool! I've seen all your punishments, humiliations. I see all. I never foresaw justice taken off. Sometimes you just want to yell out a move to one of the players. Vickery slipping away with a single misplaced card. Maybe I should pick up a deck one day. The fact that that's actually a move just impresses me. Alright, we're just finishing up looking at the area. Oh hey, the Bard and I, we, we find this place inspiring. That's why I'm up here, taking commissions. But materials, I need 1500 gold to create your likeness. Should be quick. How delightful, sir. Only a true artist could capture my resplendence. Are you up to the task? I, I can't draw a line without redrawing a thousand times. But the result will shine very soon. Alright. I expect results, dear peasant. Ah, another traveler joins our airfaring crew. I'm Cardia, and I have great interest in this land's diversions. Justice shines light on the heart. Shall we glimmer together? 
As long as life exists, there will be games. It's all part of the cycle. Alright. Alright. Where do I want to put my first card? I feel like that's a bad idea in its own right. There we are. This feels better. Alright. So Cardio is playing the defensive game. So they're gonna push it up, and then I could push that away. I see. I see. Yeah, I think that's my best move right now. If they want to push it up, then they give me a gem. Alright. I could put this here to protect my guy, but then he might just push up, and then I can't protect it anymore. That will allow me to push up and protect. Down and right, and then I can move up. That still loses me. Ooh! I can move this down and right. And then he responds with their own. Oh, but you push left, so I can't even get to it. Well done. Shows how little I know. Gosh, I feel like I have a bad hand right now. So I can push that there, and then they just push with the down and right, and... Oh, but they have to push me into the other point, at least. And then I can push them down. Alright, I think... Did they make the mistake? They did not make the mistake. Alright, then they just push that left and I'm gone. Yeah, I don't... I don't see what I do from here. Alright, well, Cardia is a much stronger Jouster than I expected. As should be expected. Hmm, yeah, I think at this point I lose. So I could put that there, and then they just push it left, and I'm gone. And if I place this here to prevent that, they just place a position down, and I lose it another way. Hmm. So I could push this here. I'm just trying to think of any ways I can win. No, I think Cardi has got me. I'm afraid she might pull a full sweep at this rate. And I can't even take that out now. Yep, so I can't push them any of them in any direction, so I've just got full sweeped. Well, it's a good thing I don't... I'm actually going to push this card out of the way to protect it from getting taken. Alright. I'm not gonna worry about Cardia. She has a deck where a basic deck doesn't last. Makes sense. Then you're here. The Gilding is full of types that love to buy merchandise. So you could still I could still buy cheats if I want to. Alright. Good to have. I wonder what happens when you use a cheat, though. Yo! So, I got this ween suit, and it's great, but I'm scared to... Maybe I'll just stay here for a while? Longer? Woke up some steam? Fair enough. Oh, oh! Wait, I just realized. I am a genius! There we are. Got my resources, and let's just check the right side of the place. Hey, 
Hey there, Keen Man. I pilot this dainty little clipper, and I steer her true. Name's Doe. At your service. You're cleared for departure when you're ready. Just leap off the bow. Nice. Alright. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and depart! Let's see what happens. Ooh. Alright. We'll have to take care of that next time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Alright. We're going to take a moment and let the bot raid end before we continue on. Mm. Alright, the bot raid ended quite quickly. Seems. Alright. Huh. Hey everyone, welcome back to... <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Key Knight. We have quite the keydom in front of us, so we're just working our way through everything. Oh. Whoa, are you okay? Looks like your vigor got knocked out. But that's okay, because this is the roll course. Rolling is great. You can sail through dirt and get more distance without stopping or spinning up. Just quickly press X again during your shoulder bash. But watch your spacing. You need a little runaway. Alright. Got it. Ah, uh, that's why it's the roll course. Got it. So this is a mechanic I had the entire time, and it just teaching me now, which is pretty cool. All right, just a nice little command description. Mr. Haas again, the bot. Yeah, so I've been getting bot raids today. Bit of an issue, but I'll be fine. Alright. Backyard lab. Let's go to the lich yard and see out what the sunken town looks like. Okay, come on. I didn't even know you had a heart. Oof. There we go. Woo! <sighs> Overshot it. Ah. Uh. So it seems like Key Knight's abilities are slow but powerful, is I guess the goal with those. I killed one. Oh my gosh. The health. Whew. The fact that they jump means that even after I know when they're not a threat, like, or once I finish the threat, basically, they'll still be an issue. 
right. Got it. Good. Good. Oh. Oh, I needed that there to grab that. Well, it's just one gem. I can manage that. There we go. Make sure I can actually reach that. Oh. Uh, good thing it's nearby, but like if I end up going through that water, that would end up very badly. Thought so. Go. Got the metal. That's what I was here for. Oh well. Bottomless pits, man. It's a good thing these levels are very short, because they're getting on my nerves. Boop. Keep it moving. Bombless pits! Oh my god. I was just literally attacking the skeleton and then ended up here. Well, now I have to go through here, and if I die... I have major issues. Alright, we're gonna go low. I went low to avoid... Oh my gosh. This is getting infuriating. I'm not even going back for that. We're just continuing on. Ugh. Playing this game on New Game Plus more difficult, but I won't say what change. Yeah, no, no, don't. Thank you for not saying so. Oof.
Oh. I feel like I didn't get much for this area. Like, I lost more from going through that than I gained doing it. Ugh. So this is... I like... This is actually feels like a Mario Bros. stage. Alright. Ectoplasm Chasm. Oh, this is all considered Lech Yard. I see. New mechanic. Goo. No! I think I lost the chance at gain that because of my mistake there. Four? Gosh darn it. Well, I had a second chance. I lost that one up too. Uh. Uh. Oh well. Don't get all of them. Go. Cool. Just figuring out all the mechanics still. Oh my god, I just now realized that that's a hammer works for that. Um... I have no idea what that little victory sound was. Of course, the diamond falls. So I try to hit the other wall and then bounce out, but... Are you kidding me? Again, why I hate bottomless pits. You make a simple mistake, and everything goes to shit. You lose your entire life, and any money that you lost with alongside it. Yeah, I'm talking about Mario 3 with the interconnected levels. Sorry, I didn't see yours. Comment. Alright, so we got that. Alright. Lost some money, again. A red one. I wonder what the difference is. The difference is I can't reach it. There we are. Maybe it's a secret exit and locks an additional area? Maybe that's what this is? 
maybe. If I go back here, I will unlock... Yeah, I went... So, I have access to the red areas, but not the... Not the southern areas. I see. So, now I have to go back through here. And... Actually get the ending as it's expecting. I see... Figuring out how the system works. So, there was even a secret exit. That... That feels good. I thought I shot to the left. Yeah, I went right. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't lose more on the way out. There we go. I guess I should have grabbed that food. Oh well. Got back to full health anyways. Keep moving. For the offer, but I'm gonna decline it. Ah, come on. Just seemed too likely to be. Medals. Show my greatness. Alright, if I can get the one down there. Cool. I love how his, when you spin on top of those things, it does that maneuver there. what was going on as I was falling. Just got lucky that that was where it needed to be. Okay, so we now know of secret exits and secret areas. Interesting. And an eerie manor. Interesting. Oh, so you could just exit. Got it. This level. 
I see. Cool. Just try and get the diamonds, and then also the ghost dies just in the crossfire. Alright. Is this Pride More Keep? If so, it's even more shamefully squalled than I'd imagined. Sorry, Buster, but with as many of these guys here, I have a feeling you're not going to be as threatening as a boss as you were back when I faced you as... The Shovel Knight. I just have way too many resources on my disposal. Simple enough. No ghost is scary enough for the Key Knight. The Key Knight is too unafraid of things. Of course you shouldn't be scared of ghosts. No thing meager as that. Wow, I really stumbled with my words there. But, now we can actually get that gold. This little gold pile I've been waiting for. I promise I have a fence for landing than you think. Whatever royal lies here, must have loved using decrees. Powerful stuff, but they only last for one use. But why hoard him? They'll just end up like where wherever left these chests here, huh? Alright, so any decrees only have one use. Got it. And now we're just grave robbing, because as far as I can understand, that's what he was saying, that these are this is a grave technically. Decree of Rejuvenation, a single-use item. Summon a friendly troop to restore health and vigor for 25 seconds. Ah, so that's what decrees are. Okay. It's like the Troop King healing chalices, except not as absurdly broken. Alright. Well, everyone... We figured out about the secret areas. We still have duelist graves and backyard lab and stuff like that to go to. I've just been chilling and trying out the other things. For... Anyways, we're going to try to deal with one of these bosses here. These moving platforms here. But first, I think this is good for today. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Alright. Hey everyone, welcome back to Keen Knight. So I just want to note that it seems like there's only three of these worlds, but these worlds are far more like detailed and cool. So I do appreciate it. So there's probably going to be a lot less bosses unless these two moving around platforms are the bosses. But yeah, I just find it really cool. So I just bring that up. Um, I'm going to keep heading in. Um, let's check out what this guy does. Why I run into him? Mr. Lightning Man. Hark! My trap has ensnared another wraith. Your kind grows bolder by the day. No, wait! I'm alive! And I'm no wraith! The scent of dark magic swirls about you like an aura of death. I've made no mistake. Perhaps it's my lucky justice deck? Its previous owner did bear a striking resemblance to the Grim Reaper. But truly, how could you smell it over your own pestilent pawn? You're the one who seems to reek of ghosts. Lies. Insolence. My patient sends here, ghost. Prepare to be banished. Wait for him.
Right, he's gonna fall down again. That's my guess. Grab the health. Oof. I look fanciful flying off of him very effectively as I do that fight. Alright. Just runs away. Doesn't even admit the fact that he was wrong. Just. Ugh. Alright, Baz. How about you? Do you have anything worth saying? Hey, nice armor, bud. But beware. This is a private train spot. You're interrupting some private training. Key Knight needs no training. I'm already well on my way to feed the Justice Judges. When I do, I'll take the Justice Crown and the title of King of Cards. Whoa, a fight with judges in it? And if you beat him, you get to take their title? Oh my gosh, that's how he got the idea. Oh my gosh. That... So in the other games, the reason he says that if you beat a knight, you'll take their title, which isn't how it works. But Key Knight, oh, that's where he got it from. Now wait just a moment. A title isn't... And if you're a keen knight, that means being you would make me a keen and a knight. That's not exactly how it... Keen knight, this bout is for the title. I mean titles. Are you prepared to get wrecked? Oh, we're destroying his entire place while we're doing this. Wait for the lightning to end. There we go. Oof. Look at Bass is a full gym in Key Knight's story, and then breaks it down while the shovel knight is in there, but only but only the hooks remain. Yep. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that is this is where the shovel knight faces him, but yeah, he just literally destroyed his own property. That's perfect. Alright, Pride More Keep building battlements. And we have a secret exit on this one. Alright. My dear rats! The truly the best of servants! How dare they fall! I am sorry, dear rats. I am sorry. Alright, well. You return to the guild ween you unlocked after you defeated those bosses. Okay. Keep that in mind that something happens. I never thought fighting a knight on a trampoline would be. Okay, I knew that would be entertaining. I didn't realize it would just be common or something that actually occurs in the first place. Alright, so I'm going to just really quick grab that checkpoint, and then I'm going to come back to this secret area. Oop, 
So let's get the, ourselves our secret entrance. All right, so that's what the sound is. It's of the discovery itself. So we have the secret entrance done for this area. So now we can do the other side. There we are. That's a proper entrance for a king. The fact that you get the gold again is pretty great too. Ooh. Ram question, do you know anything about the flesh and blood trading card game? No, I do not. Sorry to disappoint you. Oof. When it comes to card games, I've been distracted with all the um, Magic the Gathering themes. They're game ready to release the new sets, and I've been paying attention to spoilers there. Alright, we'll quickly eat that apple up there. Get ourselves our healing. I don't really know much about it, I just know there's an event this weekend for it. Interesting. Oh, that was that easy. Interesting. Alright, well now we just go the expected route. This meat pales in comparison to Mom's cooking. I just love that Mom's cooking is the strongest healing item. Like, that's just like an archetype. Like, I think that's it's the same case in the Wind Waker. Like, Mom's cook you just beaten. Uh. Awesome. Thank you for the heart. I appreciate it. Ooh. Oh, you have a... Re your sister has a relationship with a person on the focus on it. Interesting. Good for them. I like how the strongest enemy in the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker is a big pig doubling the damage of even Ganon. Hmm. I did not know about that, actually. You know, I just realized I haven't gone to any of these. Let's see what these places are. Psst, over here, sire. It's me. Thanks for dropping by for the test. I finished off our secret device. But the materials aren't free, remember? I'll need merit medals to pay our suppliers. Release a rat with a safety bomb attached. Well, it's running, press again to reverse its direction. Since I have my safety bomb shields the rats from harm, can you reach the far end of the course? And by that, don't shoulder bash in this cave. There's still a few kinks in the motion sensors. Could end badly. I thought I said that thing, I heard the rats. I'm sorry, rat buddy. Okay, so the course has just begun, basically. How am I supposed to get up? Oh. So I did the secret first, and it pu I got punished for it. 
Feels bad, man. I'm not allowed to shield bash, so that just... That felt annoying. Ugh. These rats deserve better. So sorry, rats. You are great servants. Oh. The rat bombard your worked! Thanks to our field test key night, we'll be ready for production in no time. Yes, splendid. Why not come aboard my royal and chef and enjoy a well-deserved glimpse of my domain? After all this research, I could show you some fresh air. Lead the way, sire. Right here, buddy. Did I ever play Dead Cells? No, actually. Not yet. That might be something to add to the list. I don't think I have it, though, but... Mm. We've been scouting around the plains for Joust players before we met you. It's peaceful here. Right. Tori Merit Barrows, you're quickly becoming a bard in your own right. It's not much, but I've saved 900 gold to mark the occasion. Would you accept it? Another Patronators. Another verse you've inspired. <clears throat> Liches love amulets, this much is true, but jewelers are eager to bid them adieu. When selling one's masterworks brings people health, one tends to start stacking up stock on the shelf. Yeah, I give health. See? I am of value. Surprise you're here. Alright. Spin to absorb nearby gold. Was this the new armor? Or it just... Cool. I'm gonna grab healing tears, but I don't intend to use it, because, you know, I have the Keen Knight. Okay, we'll test it where no one is watching. Alright. Well... It's the most manly thing to cry when you need to. To understand when you need to is manly. This is not a blue napkin. This is my phantom shroud. You frustrate me, ghost. No matter. Why not sell our pelvises with justice? Let's see if a basic deck can beat you. Ooh, this is not good already. Alright. So I think I'm gonna go... Oh! Very different board. I see. I see. Alright, so I think that down school means they destroy it if it pushes it far enough down. Which means I want to put this... I'll sacrifice this guy. Can't push that guy to the left, unfortunately. This is a really bad hand for what I need to do. 
I need like put a guy here and then get a down. I did not get a down. Get me down? Nope. And now I can't even do that properly. I feel like I just got an unfortunate hand here. There's a down, so I could at least lock this crystal pretty well, I think. Yeah. Doesn't matter, we're all locked. Uh, uh. Grave, can be played in graveyard squares. Okay. On placement, all arrows try to push at once. I have no idea what that means, but I want to just make sure that's as far away from my resources as possible. Wait. Oh, no, no, I can't because of that arrow there. Alright, well, I'm still locked there. That's good. Alright, we're just gonna place here to lock it down. Doesn't matter, I win. And so here's the question. Do I want... Yeah, let's grab your main Phantom Striker. Oof. Alright. Let's grab some cheats. Just in case I need these. <coughs> One of each. The fact that I can make a deck is pretty cool. I'm not too worried about it, though. We'll worry about that another day. Beating her is definitely what those cheats are going for, but I'm going to wait till we're actually much stronger to do that. Alright. Down we go. You know what? If that's just an item... Then we have two item more items to acquire. Oh, it's, there's danger ahead. Magic most foul has been wished my trusty dually glove. I cannot wear it. The glove simply falls through my head. Perhaps you'd equip it instead. Attack in succession with quick slaps. Let's make haste and shoulder bash not, lest we meet our untimely demise. I get the feeling you've already met your. Never mind. I'll see you shortly. So, up to up to three attacks in a row. It looks like ah. Missed out on something. Sucks. Ooh. Why didn't you come earlier? Oh well.
And it's stuck under the platforms, so that money's gone. It's a good thing I spent most of my good money. I have to look up a vid. I know Final Fantasy VIII and fourteen had a triple triad. Huh. Oh! The initial hit takes two mana, but the few- any, um, later hits only take one. Ghost resummoned as I was grabbing. Ah. Oh well. Just get through here. Go. Well, that seems to send them a lot further away. We've survived! The Glade Queen awaits! And I'll be able to pursue the Justice Crown and find spirits! That that sounds like my own- Wait, what? How do you know about the Glide Queen? Well, I'm the Justice Champion they've chosen, and I aim to become King of Cards with the help of her crew! H how curiously bizarre! Come with me, would you? Ah, so you are not the first. It's a question of will you be the last. Last. I noticed the massive hole through his chest. Mother, what are you what are you doing here? Sugar Plum, you're here! I grabbed one of your little rat ropes and suddenly I was whisked up here. Your dear mother was just telling us all about the many virtues of Keen Pride More. I just love Keen Pride More. I read in Keen's Weekly that he was a real stickler for the rules. Mom, hush you you know you're not to disturb my quests. Stay off my theme! Without rules, one can't be much of a ruler. Perhaps your mother's insight could help guide your quest. Oh, what a thrill, dearie. To fly through the sky and perhaps even catch a glimpse of a keen? This is nonsense. Hogwash. Mother, say nothing to my servants. Alright. What a grand galley. Finally, some space to maneuver. I can create some of your dishes that will really give you your vigor. Sweetie, have you bought some coin? I'd love to cook for you. Oh, so it's merit to buy the Vigor po Pockets. That's cool. I like how they they do really good design with all this. I've been liking this. Alright. <laughs> Just there was a moment where that deer freaked out. Okay, so that's the way to Primor Keep. That's pretty cool. Hello, sire. A moment of your time, if I may. I'm Keen Primor's former advisor, Traitorous. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not the best name. I've lost faith in the daughter of fool. I seek a new Keen, and you look mm -hmm, every bit the part. I'll be a new Keen, but I think with a name like Traitorous, uh... To prove my devotion, I'll give you this pilfered heirloom. I'm sure Keen Primor won't notice I stole it. Here, my leash. Have a glimpse. Isn't it a beauty? Can't turn damage back onto enemies. Alright. Well. Sorry, traitorous. Maybe another day. Chant of Conclave. Oh, while I'm spinning, I... Duh. I, while I'm spinning, I absorb all... That's cool. That's good. I want my rat. My good boy rats.
Oof. There we go. Aha! Goodbye. There we are. Get myself my medal. Show how great I am. I just like... Yeah, everything is designed to help show Key Knight how great he is. Uh. Moving. Gain all my medals that I need. Yeah, I, I do like this quite a bit. Um, add in the open world, and so far, I think this is, like, the best of the four. Though, I could definitely see someone making an argument for, um, for Spectre Knight. Definitely. Like, each of them has their, um, theme that makes them good. But I definitely feel like, um, Keen Knight and Spectre Knight are preferable in my mind to the plague and to plague and shovel knight like they i feel like they got better each and every time it shows aha i know what i am doing Really quick, get that back. Just make sure to time it right. Ooh. I was planning to go left, but apparently I pressed attack while the while I was still going right. Oh well. Alright. 
those taken care of. We now have all access to the king. Plus, we can actually get this item from Turncoat Tower, I think. Alright, traitor. Don't be a traitor to me. You got it. And yeah, in case you're wondering, Shoulder Bash just does not... Uh, I'm not allowed to use it. Ah. There we are. Aw. So I have a counter now, and it's a rain projectile counter, so that's very good. Oh, I can shoot multiple if there's multiple attacks. I think that's what that's teaching me. Ah, uh, I see. The fact that I can do that is pretty insane as well. Okay, this is getting out of hand. How am I failing this bad? Oh, it, on contact damage doesn't seem to matter. There we go. Can I cry more? Yes, but means nothing. Well, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, I can just hold it down. Duh. Duh, I can just hold it down. Alright. Solved my issue, though. I have a lot of damage on me for it. Thank you. Thank goodness. Alright. I'd enjoy your way of thinking, traitorous. Why don't you join my retinue of loyalty? We'll be rewarded. Ah. Join the retinue. That ends well. I'm certain. I am certain this will end well. I'll see where everything goes. Traders goes here. Take these gems I looted from Pride Moore's private fault before I left. Now as riches are yours. Appreciate it. King Knights, you didn't tell me I'd become a ghost. Unsuitable as a justice champion, you could have told me. Yes, well, it was a bit of a complicated matter, you see. I cannot compete, but I still carry coin. May due patronage be more useful to you than, a, than it was to me. Hey, just talk to people, and it's useful. Glad to hear it. Truly just gaining a group of friends. Oh my gosh, look at that. The progress is going well. It's not easy to estimate material costs, you know. But it's gain there. The cost will be 2500 gold to lay the color foundation. How exorbitant! In a way, I respect your craven demands. Indeed, get it while the gain's good. And I think before we go... Baz. Whoa, you play Justice too? I'm so into it. Justice, pushing people around, blowing stuff up. Justice rules! I got arrows for days, buddy. Full deck. Think you could step onto this? Let's see how a basic deck does against this. Key Knight versus Baz. Pushes cards without opposing arrows and blocks standard. Alright. On placement, all arrows try to push at once. Alright. I think I'm gonna 
the Baz is basically just a lockdown card. My gosh. I'm just looking at the Baz. That's a actually an amazing card. I mean, I have to place here, basically. And that card perfectly counters. And they're just gonna push that to the side. Yep, as expected. Because... I feel like, yeah, I definitely need a better deck. But, oh well. Until that day. Literally nothing I could do except push his around. I thought that was going to cause all of them to push, but apparently not. it so I can't get pushed that way. Alright, so he pushes that inward. That's good for me, I think. The only thing I could do is push that there, and then I lose. Is there any other move I can make? Oof. Can't target that guy. So I do that, and then I lose. Alright. Well, we'll lose one, and we remember, we have no cards that we're like really losing out on, because we're, all of them are basic cards. So he'll take up, yeah. He'll take Blorp, and then we just replace it with Blorp. I'm gonna see if I can beat the Baz without any support, but if I need to, I will. Just wanna get used to this whole style. Right. So, I can push that theme there, then push it down. I think that's my solution. Okay, so the bass took one there. Acceptable to me. Alright, I do have a cheat if I need it. Yeah, the best having just like a all direction block is quite potent. me there pretty effectively All right. I didn't even realize you could do that well I can cheat to win I think Not gonna bother with that. And then we lose. And we have three stocked. Oh, he pushed me down, so he still wins, but. Alright. Oh, even the ones over there he can take. That's good now. Just give me the. Oh, I had only a limited amount of those. Alright. Well, I guess we're using an actual card then. Well, that's good to know. Well, if that's the case, I need to actually start taking this a lot more serious. I might want to just build a better deck. 
Alright. I do want that center point if I can get it. Push that there just to limit their options. All right. All right, that should lock me in pretty effectively there. So you'd have to use the Baz to get rid of that card, but then. push any of those ways. I can only push this one up. Same here. Both seem like a mistake. Whew. If I push here, he uses the Baz, breaks and pushes everything back. Um... If I push this up... Actually, I think this is the correct play. Because I could push it up again, possibly. Like, yeah, you could use the bass to break that and such, but... If I get another push up... I could take either. Yep. So I take that, and then I could push that left. Yep. Perfection. And I'm getting a full sweep. And now I can take the bass. Awesome. So yeah, just a little practice, and you can take the best cards. Whew. Figuring it all out. These are the cheats, but I do not intend to use them. You're still very powerful, so we're gonna wait on you. Look who was up here, my brother! Where were you now? What, what other lovely right, sire. Oh, and it looks like the Joust cards will come in handy. So I got this Wingsu, and it's great, but I'm scared. Maybe I'll wait for a little longer. Work up some steam. All right, so I was wondering if someone was going to come by. But until then, we keep moving. We have the Key Knight to slay. Or I guess we're the Key Knight, but we have the Keen of Primor to take out. What's up? Oh, yeah, what's your story? Some new passenger come aboard. You see a lot of people come and go, being a pilot. But your crew? That's steadfast. The Glady Wing's my home, and I stick with my herd. In fact, I've stuck by Cooper ever since he was running from town constable. Anyway, that's enough for now. Let's look at the horizon head. Into the horizon we go! Alright. Well, with that, we have one more puzzle theme here. Actually, that looks like it's going to be real quick. I'm going to be horribly wrong, I'm certain of it. And then I, this is going to be a very long video. You're welcome for anyone who likes long videos. It's a tough card game. Level 1 mystery card. Doze Drake. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Doze Drake. I like puzzle games, so I do like it. Griffoth. Alright. King Brightmore. That you? I vision isn't what it was, but I'm I'm still watching your secret justice cards. You must have mistaken for a fool if you don't think I've noticed your hard work. Good job! <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. That's nice to hear. Take your special card. Asked me to fetch it, didn't ya? Keen Pride More. Alright. Whew. So now we have a proper deck. We can make make sure to have a... I can make my deck as strong as possible before we face Pride More. But I think that will happen next time. Everyone... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And with that, we actually weren't 
30 minutes over what I usually do. So, that's it for now. I have a bot farm to slaughter. So, I'll do that late in a bit. I'm going to go raid a channel right now. Alright, just give me a second to make sure there's not a channel that's ignoring. There is a channel it's ignoring. So, I'm going to go raid... Thank you very much for telling me to have a good one. I'll, If you have a suggestion, I can raid that instead, but we already figured this out. So, see, thank you very much for coming by, Ectomenon. I'm, let's watch some Dyson Sphere program. Oh, it has to wait, raid to raid. Alright, waiting for everything to get set up. But yeah, thank you so much for coming by, guys. output the 